Hi, I'm Scott Thomas, Human Rights and Diversity Officer for Cape Breton University. In this module, this will help you with guidelines for respectful online conduct. With classes and services continuing in online spaces, we recognize that our students, faculty and staff face new and diverse challenges of connecting virtually and across a distance. We are committed to providing all students and faculty with a positive learning environment whether face-to-face -face or online. You can help contribute to building welcoming and respectful spaces by following the following tips outlined in this section. Everyone can play a part in creating a learning environment that, in, that advances excellence, well-being, safety, and mutual respect. Tip number one, be mindful. Without the support of contextual and nonverbal cues, it's easier to misinterpret written exchanges. As a result, online exchanges may escalate quickly and in unexpected ways, while also highlighting different forms of inequities. Be mindful of how your statements, language, jokes, and tone can be interpreted differently online than you intend. Invo avoid sarcasm. Tip number two, be generous. Everyone has different stressors in their lives and many once routine tasks may now take longer to do or require more energy. Expect yourself and others to be potentially less focused and less productive. So avoid imposing further expectations or judgments and practice acceptance of delays, disruptions and strong emotions. Tip number three, be curious. Time delayed offer a unique opportunity to exchange differently with divergent perspectives. When discussing topics that you feel strongly about, take extra time to organize your emotions and emotional response and consider the most generous language for your response. Consider whether you can frame your response as a question. This can help replace a polarized or polarizing discussion with an invitation to explore ideas differently and lead to a richer understanding of ideas, experiences, and positions that are different from your own. Tip number four, respect privacy and boundaries. Isolation, disruption, and uncertainty may inspire us to seek out more meaningful connections and conversations. And we may end up sharing our learning personal information than would not have otherwise been shared. If you're unsure as to what should be kept confidential, err on the side of caution to keep things private or clarify directly. Tip number five, address disagreements directly. Perhaps you disagree with what someone said, or perhaps they said it in a manner that hurt you or others. Either way, while their behavior impacted you negatively, it's possible that they did not intend to be disrespectful. Considering talking to them informally, allowing for a mutual exchange of perceptions to broaden yours and their understanding. Ask what their intention was and describe the impact on you. Both matter. While potentially uncomfortable, this approach can build stronger relationships and offers a rare opportunity to give and receive feedback for apology. Tip number six, be respectful. The virtual classroom is an extension of the in-person classroom. As you continue to exchange diverse ideas and perspectives in online forms, the same standard of respectful interaction is expected in online, expected in on-campus settings. If you would not say it in person, don't do so online. Remember that the CBU policies remain in effect in the online community, including the Student Code of Conduct, CBU Respectful Campus Policy, and the Sexual Assault Policy. And the most important tip, tip number seven, ask for help. Getting support for yourself is important. The following supports may be helpful. A trusted friend. Having someone to listen to your story can be an infinite helpful way of planning what to do next. 
rather than simply venting, accessing another perspective can offer more clarity, more insights, and different opinions you might not have considered. Your course instructor. If your concerns are related to a particular course, the course instructor may be able to provide support and insight as you seek to find productive ways to address your situation. And contact myself, CBU Human Rights Officer. The office is strictly confidential and offers a wide range of support and advice. I hope that your journey through these modules will help you gain some insight on the online learning.